Hello everyone, I'm Jack Benham from Reviews For You and today we have a hands-on review of the Xbox 360 Elite. I hope you enjoy and be sure to subscribe for more. So what's new with the Elite? Well, it comes with a new standard 120 gigabyte hard drive which is 60 more than the Xbox Premium which allows you to download more demos and game add-ons. As you can see here, if you don't have a hard drive, it comes with two memory card slots on the front. Onto the back of the console now, and as you can see, these two holes is where the adapter goes to allow you to log onto the Xbox Live, play people around the world, and talk to friends. Here's the adapter here, now with two antennas for better connection. Unfortunately, it does cost £48, and here's it connected to the back of the console. Only takes five seconds to do that, uh, five seconds to take off. Not hard at all. As you can see here, that's where the normal lead goes, and that is where the HDMI lead goes. HDMI costs £14 and allows everything to fit to the screen better for a better picture. Here on the back is the two fans which keep the console cool but unfortunately you can still get the red ring of death with this new console. Um, that's where the power brick goes into which plugs into the wall giving the console power when it turns on. So that's the back. Now on to the new Elite controllers which come with the console. As you can see the new Elite controllers come in a nice black finish with the analog sticks and the D-pad now in grey. On the back is a normal battery pack, just easily insert batteries into the back, plug into the back and you're ready to play. Or you can go with the rechargeable battery pack which costs £8 for the battery pack and the lead. That light there lights up red when it's charging and on full charge it can last up to 48 hours of playtime. The difference between these two battery packs in looks, as you can see there, quite a lot of difference. Onto the microphone that comes with the Elite now, it has an adjustable headset, a microphone and an earpiece. It has four foot of wire connected to the controller so you can move away a bit from the controller. And as you can see it has volume control and mute, all the same as the old premium microphones. So not a lot of difference there, it comes with a clip to clip on your shirt if you don't want it knocking around on the floor and it comes with mute control so that's a standard one with the console I would recommend getting a better pair like Toyota Beaches or Air Force as these can break really easily now this adapter that has two antennas is not for the Elite you can put it on the Premium as well um, the main difference between the two is that this has two antennas and the old one only had one so I would recommend getting this one. Here's another shot of the fans, there's two of them and they try to keep the console cool but that's not always the case, you can overheat and get the red ring of death. Good thing about this new hard drive is you can take it off like the old one and plug it into the computer. Um, there's not a lot of difference between the premium and the elite mainly just this hard drive and the color so as a conclusion if you have a premium there's no point in getting the elite but if you have an older console and want to upgrade you can spend just a little bit more money to get a nice new color and a bigger hard drive however if you don't want to spend much money on an adapter and you just want a cheap console recommend getting the ps3 overall it comes out cheaper with a built-in Wi-Fi. This is the end of my hands-on review of the Xbox 360 Elite. Be sure to subscribe for more. This has been Reviews For You.